women make some noise. All women make some noise. Real quick, women make some noise. I'm on Facebook, right? And I feel like Facebook, like I follow a lot of comedians. I'm a comic, so I have a lot of comedic friends. The funniest people on Facebook are women. And more in particular, is black women. All right? Y'all are the funniest people on Twitter, yo. <laughs> because women, listen, I'll tell you what. Because women on their Facebook updates, they always talking to a dude they dealing with indirectly, right? But they'll never want to say his name. Every time they get in an argument, you read their Facebook update. I don't know why dudes want to lie claiming they at work when they really at the movies with other chicks watching Avatar in 3D, right? A girl's like, preach, girl, likes this. What happened? A girl called me. I can't put my business on the street. <laughs> like five hours later, claiming he want to have a baby, but he coming home at five o'clock in the morning, right? It's always like on Saturday, because on Sunday, her updates be like, God is such an amazing God and forgiven. And right now, me and my boo are walking around promenade. All you haters can die. I love women on Facebook, man. I'm not from here, man. I'm from Texas, right? That's, all right, that's what's up. And I found out in L.A., y'all gangs, like, y'all for real about y'all gangs. Like, it's not just a movie. Like, now nah, gangs, I'm for real. Like, gangs are attracted to me out here. Like, every time I do a show, I get into an altercation with a gang member. This is a true story. I know we filming, but this is true. I was doing this show, right, on Pico, right? It was like 300 black people in there. It was a bunch of ruckus, right? It was like kind of lively, but they was paying me 10 bucks and I needed it, so like I'll do the show, right? <laughs> and I did this joke, right? I did this joke. I was like, yo, I hate when women drink. This dude in the back was like, we all drink, homeboy. I was like, uh, who talking to you, right? <laughs> and this woman next to him, she was real black and she had like a blonde Mary J. Blige wig on, right? Like a big blonde one. And she had on thick black glass. She's like, he talking to you. I was like, is that your girl? I'm his mama. Right? So I said, well, that's the problem. Both of y'all need to sit down and shut up, right? I was just joking, right? So I got, I got off. I grabbed my girl to bounce. Like, yo, Sid, you need to leave. I was like, why? You shouldn't have been talking to that girl. I said, she shouldn't have been talking to me. No, you don't get it. It was her birthday. I said, I don't care. She should shut up on her birthday. He said, you don't get it. I said, what? She a Hoover Crip. Her son a Hoover Crip. It's her birthday. She bought the whole room. They all Hoover Crips. And they all want to talk to you. I said, are you serious? I grabbed my girl and said, come on, let's go. My girl was like, are you scared? I said, shut up, yes. <laughs> I got in my car. I stay in Burbank. I'm on Pico. They followed me home for like 20 minutes, right? I didn't know they was following me until they rolled up and I had my windows down. And I was playing a, a song that wasn't a representation of what I was about. I was playing 50 Cent. I was like, ah, I'll kill everybody in the car. I turned around. I was like, no, I won't, right? <laughs> and they start following. You see us, cuz. You see us. You ever had somebody scare you where you don't even look in that direction no more? Like, I'm just driving. The first thing I could do was just sing the first song that came to my head. Like, never would have made it without you. We don't care about him, cuz. I was like, I know, I'm stupid. I'm running through red light stop signs. We don't care about red cuz. Stupid, man. <laughs>